In this video, I'll be learning about the chest rating system and the various rankings in the game. What we're going to do in this video is talk about chest rank system fact, followed by chest ranking according to the Wikipedia page about the chest rank system back and forth this way from bottom to top to master. So let's start with a fact about the chest rating system. The first one is about the origin and purpose of the chest rating system. The chest rating system was introduced by Arpad Ello in the 1960s. The purpose was to provide a numerical representation of a player's skill level, allowing the fair matchups and comparisons between players' abilities. The first and lowest rank mentioned in the wiki page about chest ratings is called the novice. That is the biggest one in this video that's from the range of 100 to 1200 rating points. The next chest rating system fact is established versus provisional ratings. When you start into the rating system, you start with a provisional rating that is subject to larger changes. After playing more games, your ring will be established and the change will become more gradual, helping to accurately represent your playing skill in chess. The next rank up is called Class D, which people in this range is usually from 1200 to 1400 rating range, and this is where competent players usually arrive. Not saying that the novices don't have competency, but this is where clear shine that people are getting up the ranks. For the next chess rating system fact, it's about the key factor. The key factor determines how much your rating changed after the game. For the chess players that have a higher K factor value, that leads to more significant ring swings, make it more volatile for less established players. So while having a low K factor, just says that you have a lower chance, a reduced chance to have a rapid fluctuation and change for the most experienced players in the game of chess. The next rank is rank C, which is a 1400 to 1600 rating range. But I remembered when I was trying to play Bray Chess, I told all my friends, once I get to 1500, I'll be set for life. I'll never have a rated goal ever again. I'll be just happy. This next chess fact is a really important one. It's about rating calculation. After a game, your rating is calculated based on the ELO formula. It takes into account your rating, your opponent's rating, the K factor, and the actual game result. This formula predicts how much your rating should change based on the difference between the expected outcome of the actual result. Next rank is called Class B, which is 1600 to 1800 rating range. At this point, you ought to keep an eye on your K factor as it shrinks and shrinks and shrinks as you go higher in rating. The next chest rating system fact is about the performance rating. Your performance rating reflects how well you did compared to your established rating. It takes into account results against various opponents and their ratings, and that gives you insight into your tournament's performance overall. Next rank up is called Class A. It's 1800 to 2000 rated. So this is basically where the top amateur players reside and is really one step below experts and beyond. The next chess ring system fact is about chess ring floors and ceilings. These are used to prevent chess rings from plumbing too low or soaring too high. Some ring systems, depending on the country, have different ring floors and ceilings. So, for example, the United States Chess Federation, USCF, they have a 200 rating floor. So, if you go to 2000, you never go below 1800. Also, you have an 1800 rating, you can't go below 1600, things like that. So far as chess ring ceilings go, think about the K factor. As higher your rating goes, the smaller the K factor becomes. So, in a sense, you'll never become a 4000 rated chess player no matter how many times you win because the ceiling prevents it, you'll be really, really small as a K factor. This is the final ranking of this video. This is a 2000 rating to 2200 rating. So, after 2200, you get National Master title granted to you automatically. And the final chess rating system fact is about ratings and psychological pressure. As your rank climbs up higher and higher, so does the pressure. Higher ratings lead to increased expectations and nervousness, while lower rated players will not have that problem, but they have effect on their confidence. Understanding the psychological effects is crucial to understand the chess journey and rating system. 
hey, check this video out to make sure that you get more important information to bring your chest to the next level.